The Barceló Bavero Beach Resort is much less known than its sister property, the famous Barceló Bavero Palace. Is this small adults only resort worth it? Let's find out together. Hello Travel Box, welcome back to another Punta Cana Resort review, let's dive right in. The Barceló Bavero Grand Resort Complex houses two hotels, the Barceló Bavero Beach and the Barceló Bavero Palace. To better understand this review, consider the Bavero Beach as the adults-only section of the Bavero Palace. We arrived at the hotel at noon. Our check-in was smooth and fast, but our room wasn't ready since the official check-in time was 3 p.m. From experience, we knew it was best to make our dinner reservation as soon as possible, so we headed to guest services. There are only two specialty restaurants in this resort, and after checking out the menus, we chose Chez Gourmet, which serves international cuisine. There was no availability for that night, but after using our Puss in Boots faces, Evelyn found a way to squeeze us in. Since it was lunchtime, we went to Caribe, one of the two buffet restaurants. Caribe is the larger of the two and the main buffet in the hotel. The restaurant was nicely decorated and big, making it feel almost empty, especially compared to the super crowded buffet we experienced at the Bavaro Palace. There were many food stations and a good variety of dishes, the food was tasty, the staff was friendly, and the view was gorgeous. After lunch, and while we waited for our room to be ready, we played some pool, foosball, and ping pong in a little entertainment area in the lobby building. We ordered drinks in the Mamey lobby bar next. John's rum punch with fresh watermelon was super tasty. I did my piña colada taste test and the Barceló Bavro Beach got an A+. 10 minutes after 3 p.m., we were assigned room 2040 in building 2. The hotel is small and easy to walk, so we took our bags to the room ourselves. The exterior design of the room buildings is made to resemble wood and looks beautiful. We booked a superior room and paid $97 per person per night. If you want a detailed room tour, please watch our Barceló Bavro Beach tour video. The link is in the description. Here, we limit our discussion to what we liked and didn't like. What caught our attention the most was that the room is dated regarding decoration, style, and furnishing. However, it was not worn down. It was better maintained than rooms in newer hotels. The space felt super clean and fresh. We loved its size and the complete separation of the bedroom and bathroom areas. We liked the double vanities and the amount of counter space. The bathroom had a bathtub. Some people like them, but we prefer a standing shower. The air conditioner worked great, almost to a fault. We appreciated the bathrobes and slippers in the closet and the well-stocked minibar for this price point. We were not fans of the rattan furniture, but loved the comfortable beds and pillows. Our favorite part was the view from the balcony, the best view we've had in an entry-level Punta Cana resort room. Did you know you can help us grow our channel and it doesn't cost you anything? Simply click on the book now link in the description of any of our videos when you're ready to book your Punta Cana resort. We earn a small commission if you book within 7 days of clicking the link. It helps us grow our channel and it doesn't cost you extra. After leaving our belongings in the room, we went to the beach. The Barceló Bavaro Beach Resort is on the gorgeous and world-famous Bavaro Beach. The water was lovely, amazingly clear, and we could see the fish swimming with the naked eye. In addition, it was calm. Midday, there was some seaweed, but not sargassum, which plagues the Caribbean in the summer months. There were more than enough lounge chairs in the sitting area well-spaced and shaded by fully grown palm trees, although there were no umbrellas or palapas. We then headed to the only pool in the resort. It's big and has good depth. John is 5 feet and 6 inches tall, and the water was up to his neck in some areas, which is not usual in resorts. Our favorite pool features were the massaging water faucets, 
and the bubbling section in the middle, which was very relaxing and a great place to meet fellow travelers. We ordered a couple of piña coladas from the Boillo Pool Bar. Boillo has no wet side, so we had to get out of the pool to get our drinks. Later that afternoon, we went to grab a snack at La Brisa, the other buffet restaurant in the hotel. Unlike Caribe, La Brisa Buffet is open until 5.30 p.m., great for late lunches and snacking. The food was good, but the ice cream was runny. The best feature of this restaurant is the fantastic view of Bavro Beach. La Brisa becomes a Mediterranean specialty restaurant at night and requires a reservation. We went to Shea Gourmet for dinner, where we had made reservations. The restaurant is small, quaint, and beautiful. The staff is very attentive and the menu is creative, but the food could have been tastier. The best dish of our meal was the crepe. After dinner, we went to the small theater in the lobby building. The night show was called Dominican Bachata, where a live band played bachata music that guests could dance to. The band was good, but the show was on the simple side. The busiest spot at night is Mamey Lobby Bar, where many people gather to drink and chat. This area is also lovely during the day, but is best enjoyed after the sun has set. The night was rainy, so we decided to turn in early. The following day, we had breakfast at the buffet. The restaurant was busier, and the X station had a long and slow moving line. Overall, breakfast was below average. Remember when I said at the beginning of the video to think of the Bavro Beach Resort as the adults-only section of the bigger Bavro Palace? Well, this is because, apart from three tennis courts, two basketball courts, a beach volleyball court, and soccer goalies on the beach, we've already shown you all there is in the Barcelo Bavro Beach. There are only two specialty restaurants, one pool, no gym, no spa, and very few amenities. The good news is that you have access to some restaurants of the Bavro Palace, like Santa Fe, which is a steakhouse, Coral, a seafood place, the two buffet restaurants, and Ojo 19, an a la carte restaurant bar at the end of the golf course. You can grab a snack between meals at Coffee, Rum and Cigars Lounge Bar. It opens at 4 p.m. and it's a great place to hang out and have a drink or a sweet snack. Strikers Sports Bar is open 24-7 and has a small buffet of finger foods always available. You can also use the Palace's wide-ranging selection of pools, from two super big pools overlooking the beach to an adults-only pool in the El Cielo section. This is a small and secluded area for guests over 18, with a medium-sized pool with water jets in the center and a bar. You also have access to the spa, a fully equipped gym, and a myriad of amenities like a baseball field, soccer field, shopping areas, an on-site casino, and a nightclub for nighttime entertainment. A four-lane bowling alley shares a location with the arcade. Both amenities are paid to play. There is a mini golf course, a potting green, and a beautiful 18-hole golf course. You'll also find different board games in the entertainment center, like Dominoes, Monopoly, and Battleship. You can also play petanque, shuffleboard, and giant chess. While the entertainment staff at the Bavro Beach is not that active, the Barcelo staff organizes various games and activities right next door and puts on more produced night shows in a larger theater. Now, let's give the Barcelo Bavro Beach an actual rated score. Value for the money, 20 out of 20. Amenities, 13 out of 20. Food, 9 out of 15. Room, 12 out of 15. Beach, 10 out of 10. Service, 8 out of 10. Drinks, 4 out of 5. Entertainment, 2 out of 5. This hotel gets no extra credit for a total score of 78 out of 110. We recommend watching our review of the Barcelona Bavro Palace next to see everything you can access as a guest of the Bavro Beach.